to assess him. Yeah. Exceptional. The, the, the leadership of um, Basak is exceptional. Exceptional. The, 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 there is calmness. There is calmness. The major development we need is peace. And he has brought that to the fore. And we can see every aspect of life, every aspect of governance in Edo State is on top notch. It's not about starting projects, it's about excellence. We see excellence. We see what he has done. We see for structural development, we see a governor who goes out far to bring in investors, not just bringing in them, not just bringing them on pages of newspaper, but bringing them to make sure they invest in Edo State. The educational system is solid, the pensioners are happy, so everything is fine. As we get into 2020, we're believing God that it's going to be peace. He has done well. He deserves to come back, and he will come back. So we believe God to help us. God bless you. Thank you. What's up, guys? You're welcome to MACOM TV where we publish news on politics and entertainment. We have another trending news for you today at the headline here read, Suleiman dumps Izeyamu and endorses Obaseki, then narrate how the governor saved him from hired assassin. All right, before I proceed with today's news, please say if this is the first time you are watching any of our videos on our channel, there is a red subscribe button below this video. Just go ahead, hit on that red subscribe button, Click the bell icon to stay updated with all our latest news and updates. Alright, here are the news in details. The General Overseer of the Omega Fire Ministries, Apostle Johnson Suleiman, on Sunday met with the governorship candidate of the People's Democratic Party in the state, Godwin Obaseki. The Edo State Governor on Sunday visited Suleiman's church to receive prayers ahead of the September 19 governorship election. The respected clergy also revealed how the governor saved him and his family from hired assassin way back in 2018. Something happened on 2018. Some people came to kill me, Apostle Suleiman said. They hired assassin to kill me on New Year's Day. They were waiting for the church to start shouting Happy New Year before they will open fire in the church and kill me. His Excellency Governor Gordon Obaseki got wind of the information before me and sent security personnel to track the assassin and deal with them. He saved my life and that of my family. To save me and my family, time and eternity will help me to show gratitude, to show how grateful we are, Apostle Suleiman said. It was gathered, Obaseki moved to thank the Christian community, especially religious leaders, for their support and cooperation, thanking God for the successful completion of his word to word re election campaign across the 192 world of the state. Wow, all right, guys. Uh, what just happened yesterday, Sunday, when Obaseki visited Apostle Suleiman Church, that is the Omega Fire Ministries, was a very big boost for God in Obaseki. As uh, Apostle Suleiman, a lot of you know him, he's a very um, outspoken cleric, you get it? very outspoken. So he has his church in a dual state in Auchi. Now, Obaseki visited him as part of the uh, Thanksgiving service, I think, to conclude and to thank God for the successful running of the campaign in all of the 192 world of the state. So he visited him to actually for prayers. But guess what? What Suleiman said that yesterday was an endorsement for God in Obaseki. I mean, it was an endorsement. He gave an appraisal of Obaseki. In fact, he praised Obaseki, you get, and said that he owed, great, he owed gratitude to the governor for saving his life and him. And went, and, and okay, I went ahead to narrate what happened way back 2018 when assassin came to his church to kill him and his family and narrated how the governor got intelligence reports and foiled the attack by sending DSS into his church to track those guys uh, down. You get it. So, but all this while, he never said it. But he had to say it when the governor visited him. What is he trying to do? That is an endorsement. You know, sometimes elderly people don't speak uh, directly. They speak indirectly. They use their body language to convey a message to you. Now, you will not outrightly say, I endorse Obaseki. That's not how they do it. You wouldn't do like that. Just like Izeyama was outrightly endorsed by 
his fellow colleagues in the ministry. You guess if you watch the video clip, you will see where Isaiah was endorsed by pastors. They even pour oil on him and pray for him and directly endorse him. The truth of the matter is that a cleric is supposed to be neutral. That is just the truth. I still maintain that stance, and that is what that is a posture. That is how it's supposed to be. A cleric is supposed to maintain a neutral stance in politics. Look at what the royal fathers in Edo are doing. They maintain a royal, I mean a neutral stance so that anybody that comes they can pray for that person. But not to take sides because that's that's politicking. It's not supposed to be in the body of Christ. So, but what Apostle John to Suleiman did is maturity. What he only gave was he just gave an appraisal. He praised the governor and did not openly say, I endorse you. But that in itself was an endorsement. Election is just two weeks from now. Just two weeks from now. And tension are heightening everywhere in those states. It does still have become the theater of war. Recently, the Oba Obini called both camp. He called Oshomole's camp and also called Obaseki's camp for, you know, for settlement. You get. So now, and in that in that meeting, uh, that meeting actually saw Obaseki and Izeyamu embraced. They embraced themselves. So guys, uh, if you look at it, from one endorsement to the other, both candidates have been endorsed both by the Oba Obini, by Christian Association. You get, of course, you know that Isayamu visited Apostle Suleiman last week. He visited together with the Shomole. They visited him for prayers. He prayed for them. But if you notice during, if you compare both Oba Seki and Isayamu, you know that Suleiman at, has outrightly endorsed Isayamu. What he did that yesterday was an outright endorsement, but indirectly by praising the governor. You get that is an outright endorsement, but at, that did not happen during Isayamu's visit to Apostle Suleiman. And you know that these guys have a very huge crowd. Suleiman has a very one of the biggest church in Edo State, so that in itself is a massive boost for for Maseki. So, guys, what do you think? Election is just a stone throw from now. Just barely two weeks from now is going to be an election. And already a dose state have been turned to a theater of war. Police recently have been pressure amounted on the police to search Oshomole's home for cage of weapon. Based on the fact that Shaibo, the deputy governor, raised an alarm that Oshomole is arming thugs in the state. And guess what? Do you know what happened? DSS invited. APC chieftains in a do state for questioning. They were invited for questioning. So, guys, from the look of things, you saw that these guys are not relenting. They are not. They are. They are not relenting. They are bent on doing what is in their mind. That is just it. Oshomole went to Abuja the other time to solicit for federal mics to be brought to a do state, but the video clip was released. Was was revealed. That video clip was revealed, and today Oshomole is very angry how it, that video clip got leaked out. It was, I think, it was a channel, a channel, a journalist that actually got that video uh, leaked out to the press. So, guys, um, what do you think? Who do you think is likely to win this election? Is just two, um, just two weeks ahead of us. Who do you think is likely to win? Is it Obaseki or is it Oshomole? Please, you can let me know in the comment section below. God bless you. This is Macau TV. God bless you.